Hey everyone, happy Thursday evening. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I am back here for the third candle review of the day. This is the third Kringle review from today. All three of them have been a part of the new holiday 2022 collection for Kringle Candle and I am making my way through all eight of them. This is the fifth one. The next two will be reviewed next week and then there's one more which will probably be reviewed the following week. So slowly but surely getting into these Kringles for the holiday 2022 collection. But I'm here for Snowbird. This is um, an interesting one for sure. Um, I was a little nervous by the notes, but as a reviewer, I did pick it up and I love the label. Um, I'm gonna get all into that, the scent, the performance and everything. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the description and then the notes. So the description says, some snowbirds fly south, others relish the brisk, crisp snowfall. Winter visitor or not, zesty orange, mint, balsam, and cedar will complement your lifestyle. Your top notes are orange zest, snowfall, and balsam. The mid notes are peppermint, casis, and iced cranberry. And then your base notes are golden amber, cedar, and juniper berries. So you guys know I'm not always huge on like fruity scents or um like super like berry spring almost like citrus type of scents. I don't think this is a citrus scent but I do get a lot of fruitiness from this one and I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, the reason I think that this is kind of set apart from your typical fruity scent and makes it a winter scent is I get a lot of that cranberry and like juniper berry and um, I get a little bit of peppermint in there for sure. I do get some orange zest, but I think that like that cranberry really makes it like a holiday type of scent. I do definitely, I can't remember, is there a note in there? Yes, balsam is a note. I definitely pick up balsam in here. And that concludes me to think, this reminds me a lot of one of my favorite Homeworks candles, which is the Cranberry Wreath. They're similar because they both have like a fruity balsam scent. It's like part fruity and then part balsam. This one has a lot of, I think this one's more fruity where cranberry wreath is a bit more of like the pine and balsam and really just focuses on the cranberry. But this one really has the berry, the orange, the cedar, the cranberry, a bit of peppermint, that casus. It's just really, really nice. And then of course you have, you know, that cedar, amber, balsam scent. And it's just a really nice blend and it's unique. It's a super pretty scent. I think this is a nice fresh scent. If you want it in your bedroom, that's where I'm burning it right now, as you can see. Um, this one's burning in my bedroom. It's really nice here right now in Virginia. Um, at nighttime, it's 6 p.m. right now on the dot, and it's like a really nice weather night tonight. It's like in the mid 60s, uh, upper 60s, and I opened the windows, did some cleaning in my room. I'm doing some laundry, and I lit up this candle, and it's just so fresh and clean and really, really nice for, you know, just breathing in some fresh air, and it's kind of a relief from, you know, these really heavy balsam scents or um spice scents it's just a nice fruity um getaway and i think it smells really pretty i do think that this would be a nice scent for all year round honestly um while it's nice for the holidays i could definitely see it being used as a spring fruity scent or even summer um i think it would totally work there i love the name snowbird and the label is just so pretty i mean look at that little bird with the Christmas hat on, on that pine tree. It's just really, really pretty um, label and the scent. So yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this one. So if you love a good fruity, fresh candle, this is definitely one that I would suggest picking up. Let's get right into the performance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, performance as normal is doing really, really nice. Kringle always does a great job with their burns. Um, I did share with you guys earlier that I was having some issues with my winter evergreen for soot. 
I'm not having those issues with this one at all. As you can see, this is a really nice clean burn. I am about halfway done. And I've been burning this one for like 30, 45 minutes now, and it's already pulled out. And it's a super clean burn, um, very similar to my burn for the Santa Wedding Cade. So yeah, I'm really happy with the burn for this one. As normal, it's super clean, no soot, no dirty wax. If you guys want a little view of the burn, there you go. Isn't it just so pretty? It's got that beautiful white wax and some, you know, restrained good wicks doing amazing so applaud to kringle as normal for a really nice burn and performance let's get into the throw and the strength so like i said i am burning this one in my bedroom right now and i would give this one a solid six maybe a five five or six um i do think it has a good strength and throw do i think it's like so strong no, I think it's less, I think it's got less throw than the Winter Evergreen. But again, I'm burning it in my room, so I'm wondering how it would throw downstairs in like a more open area. Um, but this is just such a fresh scent, and I love it in my bedroom, and it's got good throw. I can definitely suspect it here, and I'm happy with it. So yeah, this is a really, really pretty scent, and I definitely think that you should pick it up if you like those fruity, fresh types of scents. I will say they are currently sold out of this scent in the daylight, which is very unfortunate. Um, it seems like everyone's grabbing those daylights. So whenever Kringle does the does the launches with like the daylights, definitely go for those daylights to, like early if you want them. So uh, you can pick them up because they seem to go out of stock pretty quickly. But this one is available in the large jar, the medium jar, which is what you're looking at right now. And then the 100% soy three wick, which is the new soy candle. Um, and that's in the three wick. So really, really nice candle. Like I said, definitely think you should pick this one up. I am a Kringle candle ambassador. So if you want to pick it up and get 15% off your order, you can use code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off and use that at checkout. It is an affiliate code. So if you're not comfortable, um, just don't use it. But more information is on that down below in the description block in the sorry I can't see down below in the description box um plus the link to shop kringle candle if you want to check that site out maybe you've never tried out kringle before definitely sign up and make a purchase they're really nice candles and i rave about them and have many reviews and hauls of kringle but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all three of the reviews from today. If you missed them from earlier, I did the Santa Wood and Cade and then the Winter Evergreen. So definitely go check those two reviews out if you missed them. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to help support my channel. And I will be back tomorrow morning. Bye.